you're not in control. You're not in control of yourself and you're not in control of what you're going to get. You are in control. No, you're not in control. <laughs> When me and Jamie met many moons ago, the first thing we did was stay up very late one night and talk about life, music, and the things that drive us. And we kind of decided that if we like to talk about them, why don't we go out and encourage other people to talk about them and film these subjects? Love, sex, anger, the shadow, freedom, conflict, madness, loneliness, death, anger. Did I say anger twice? We call them the unanswerable questions in a way. You make the questions as big as you can, so you're not limiting anybody, but you just see what they really think. Are you a great lover? What's the best way to discipline a child? What happens after you die? And what's good and what's naughty? The answers that you get will speak to you and will give you a point of view from all the different cultures you meet. Hello and welcome to Calcutta Station. We don't seem to be able to get out of Senegal. Oh, I'm cold and I'm hangover. We did about 50 global locations in five months. Where have we been? <laughs> Senegal. Ghana. Nairobi. Bombay. San Francisco. Seattle. Los Angeles. New York. Kenya. Eastern East Cape. Cape. Mali. Rio. San Paolo. San Paolo and Salvador. Paolo. And the Amazon. In Mexico. Tokyo. New Orleans. And to the Great Wall of China. So we get a good spectrum of most of the world's cultural headings. It's like this invisible jigsaw puzzle that we're putting together and we're going to find out something. We want to go and see the images that aren't necessarily on the news, not the mainstream. It's never as simple as our Western, narrow-minded, driven by the idiot that edited the news view of the world. I mean, we have a process. We have 15 pieces of music that we travel with. What we do is we give them our beat or a piece of our music, something that will inspire them. They all have radio headphones. So they're listening to our music. Then they add their music and sing their song. This is from every country across the world, with people just hearing in the headphones what the last person did. Can I explain that very well? I, I thought it was brilliant. No, I thought it was brilliant. Everyone in there is talking about serious stuff, about life and about the future. But they're all looking over here enviously at their children, saying, no, oh, I wish I could go up there and do that. <laughs> if the microphone's getting what I'm getting in my ears, it's going to be really great. Let's have more. On the surface, what I need is something deeper. Lost culture wrapped with plastic features. Some vulture came and piqued my interest. Brochures that promised the world no secrets. How weird to be back in London. We're going to uh, interview two dominatrixes. Would you say dominatrices? The Western culture is so screwed up about sex. We make it both too important and not important enough. Hi there, it's Jamie. Well, I think you wait half an hour, okay? Half an hour. It's, it's, 20, past, it's 20 past five. Did we not say 5.30? Don't tackle me, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is where the dominating game begins, isn't it? This is where I'm being dominated. How can I be a better lover to you? How can I be a better brother to you? The male is an animal driven by its testosterone, and this needs to be firmly controlled. God says to uh, Adam and Eve after they said we hid because we were naked and we were ashamed, he said, who told you you were naked? Who on earth told you that there was such a thing as naked? Who told you, in other words, to be ashamed of who you are? In the middle of an orgasm, do you think, am I having too much flab around my middle? The feeling now is that the truth is changing. Earthquakes end. Storms come to an end. The media never shuts off. Those who are into marketing, they have understood the point of weakness of men, and that is on the shape of a woman. We're obsessed with being thin and fat. Exactly the opposite happening in Africa. We don't like skinny women here. We prefer here big ones, even fatter ones sometimes. The way that you look, that's the first thing that people see. You have to ask yourself what's really going on today, that I'm now feeling badly and I, and I look to blame my body. I'd have plastic surgery for the man of my dreams. 
Okay, I'm just going to find you a beat. Okay, and um. And I want to hear about your plastic surgery. My plastic wrap. Plastic, plastic wrap. Everybody understand, everybody better look. Open up your hand, baby, open up a book. What you want, bigger titties? What you want, a bigger booty? What you want, bigger lips? See, I got a big nose, but I ain't gonna change it. I'll change yours, give me a little dough. Okay, you can look pretty. Look in the magazines all over the city. Ain't nothing wrong with this beat now. Nothing wrong with my shoes. Nothing wrong with my life. Like me? Can you find another one like me? No, it's very difficult, you see.